for today. We're looking at the premium SSD for the PS5. It's one terabyte of data. Uh, PS5 expansion SSD, and we got an aftermarket heatsink for it. So let's check it out. All right. So we've all seen the, the videos, how to open the PS5, and we know where the SSD is. I'm not going to waste your time with all that uh, unboxing. I mean, Get the heat sink, a little tray. They give you uh, quite a few of these, uh, like some gel sticks. It's not like a paste, it's just like a sticky conductive. So, the actual Adata SSD does come with its own heat sink. I opted not to get it, not to use it rather, uh, just because the other one was only like 13 or 15 bucks. So it took me quite a bit of time to put it together, not really, but you don't want to see that, so... We do have a video of the finished product here, it went together smooth, first go, no, no troubles. It's so nice, look at it. So it's got lots of vents, uh, I think it's pretty sweet. So next, uh, we're gonna sh shove her into PS5 and see how it looks, see how it works. So yeah, this one was 15 bucks on Amazon. So anyone can take out a screw, you take that screw out to get access to the expansion slot. So in there you got a couple f numbers, all those do is dictate the length of the stick. No big deal, you got your, your attachment screw at the back there. And the biggest thing with that is There's a standoff in there, bushing standoff. You want to move that to the length of the SSD. So I just moved it over to the hole to do the bushing. Make sure you move that over. Because you don't want the SSD going in there because that won't uh, it'll sit on an angle rather than being straight so you just slide it into the slot give it a little push and the, uh, the standoff does the rest of the work that way it stays square to the board we're gonna jam the screw back in it not too tight now she's just a baby look at that magic looks wicked and like the profile clearance everything is perfect with that heat sink which I just went on based on reviews from other people, which was nice. Uh, so now we're gonna put the cover back on. There's no interference or binding or bulging or nothing. The thing fits wicked. So you just take the other screw, throw it back in there again. I almost dropped it in the vent there. That would've been a nightmare. So maybe you want to cover that over. I made that mistake. Boom, done. Uh, okay, so then you put the cover back on, give it a little wiggle, do your thing, make it fit, and then we're gonna go on to test it. there it is so we got the new thing in we got it powered up new SSD turn on the PS5 and it's gonna put you on this screen if it doesn't uh, you probably didn't install it correctly so we're gonna boot her up she's gonna format which is normal it is now turning into the PS5 and look boom we have 6256 megabytes a second read speed that's wicked so the box says up to 6100 so it's even outperformed the box that's so cool so yes again I got this on sale Amazon and I'm in Canada so it was 150 Canadian I mean I know there's tons of other SSDs out there I don't have a ton of money, so I usually buy the cheapest, best products I can find that work. I mean, it stays in there. It's, you're never going to see it again. 
So let's move game. Storage, so, and also, like, when I go, look, it actually tells me I have free space of 1.02 terabytes. So it's not one of those uh, RAMs, whatever, memory-wise, where it tells you you're only going to get, say, 800 gigs. Like, it is it is what it is. It's awesome. So let's move a game. Move down like two. So that's 25.4 gigs. Let's move it. Okay. That's fast. I mean, wow. It's like 25 seconds. That's super decent. Let's move another one back for blood. 33.57 gigs. Let's go. I'm not going to bore you the rest of this video just moving stuff. It's fast. I like it. Look at it go. I think it's a great addition to any PS5 owner that has one and doesn't have a ton of money. I mean, you can buy a $600 one if you want to, but I can only afford the one terabyte. I think the two terabyte version is 400 bucks so yeah that's a bit pricey for me so anyway there it is on Amazon uh, it's not on sale anymore but there's also that other option by XPG for 150 I'd say they're probably made by the same company but whatever this one was made in Taiwan uh, yeah I think it's on sale now again so 150 bucks guys check it out So is this bad boy worth it? Absolutely. We were hitting 6,200 megabytes a second with it. I got it for 150 bucks. No brainer. Thing works. Buy it, try for yourself. Five year warranty. Uh, that's it. Wicked. Hey guys, always even gaming here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, I'm gonna try to be getting out more videos every week.